Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today we finally reached Abyss Floor 90. And yeah, let's finish this Abyss and get the rewards. So we get Sky Stones and Gold Transmit Stone. Uh, I don't know who's the final boss here. Let's see the statistics. Huh. Who is the used hero here? I'm guessing Dizzy. Time again, as usual. Yep, Dizzy. For some reason, uh, my Nox is like this. Oh, Kyrus. Kyrus is still popular, huh? Okay. I'm pretty sure this is like a best floor 80 with two rounds. But Tenebra becomes Spectre Tenebra, something like that. So let's take a look at her skills. Uh, okay. Of all allies except the cast. What? Well, that's, that's Imba. Okay, when an ally is dead. So we don't kill the the mobs. Okay, she decreases combat readiness. Okay, this is her normal S3. So when an ally is defeated, the CD is reduced. So we don't kill the mobs. We get a crystal here. Granting. Mm. Ah. Hmm. I think we have to kill this. Still. Yep, I know the skills of this guy. This guy is the one that jumps. And. Oh, some spiders. From the raid. Okay, so this guy reduces CD. So who's? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so the crystal is here. The crystal is in the first round. So I'm thinking this. These guys are in with the Nibria. Uh, Dizzy, of course, will be here. And Tamarin. Mm. Should we put Luna here? Well, this is my usual um, Abyss team. Hmm. Since it's free equipment. Uh, let's give Luna Daydream Joker to enhance the damage. So Abyss Floors, uh, uh, I mean heroes that deal HP based damage are good here. Alright, let's go. First round. Usually the first round, not much of a threat. But let's see. But the crystal is faster than me, huh? And we just just won. Let's see, let's see if... Uh, Let's see if this will be a difficult round. The damage? Not bad. Oh no, Tamarin's not in front. <laughs> uh oh. Ouch. Well, my DZ is quite tanky, so 
I don't think it's not much of a problem. Oh, this guy generates a shield. Where did the shield come from? Where did the shield come from? I'm sure it's this guy. <laughs> it's always that guy. Okay, let's just kill the mobs, I guess. Oh, and, he, and he had a lot of buffs, huh? He had three buffs. Oh, why did I, why did I put my this in front? Oh, he still got that up. Okay. Woo! That's a lot of that. That's a lot of damage! Are you kidding me? Well, he had an attack buff. Oh my god. I almost fainted there. <laughs> okay, because of that, I will have to kill you. Hmm, that was quite surprising, huh? I almost died. Ta-da! Come on, let's just kill these guys. Oh, unleash an explosion of our changing the Oh it's his fault. I'm going to change them to buffs. Okay, I did not read that. <laughs> But it's only a two turn cooldown. I think this is the turn where he does that. Yep. Oh, oh, another attack buff. Come on, we have to dispel that. Oh, we have to dispel that. Okay, good. It crit. <laughs> Wrong click. Okay, I think we have to um, to get some souls here just for the next stage. I try not to use my my CD my CD skills just so. Just so I could use all of them perfectly in the next stage. Okay, I think from this part on it's gonna be easy. Let's see how much damage. <laughs> oh! Yep, I am going to faint on this. <laughs> Okay, good. It crit. So for Dizzy, let's just wait for. He's gonna jump already. Uh... Can we? Attack down. Okay, good. <laughs> that jump was really scary. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Boom. What? There's a stun. Okay, I think this turn is gonna change up to buffs again. Okay, I think this is it. Alright. 
So we're here in the final boss. Hmm. Let's see uh, skills, passive skills. If the caster's health is less than 50% when attacked, dispels all debuffs on caster. Oh, dispels all debuffs on and someone's wrath. Okay, okay. Mercedes and Aether. So he's gonna summon three guys after using Nightmare. When a special phantom is defeated, all other phantoms disappear. Whenever a phantom takes a turn, increases attack and speed while decreasing soul of enemy. What? While phantom exists, the Nibra ne neither takes damage nor acts. After the phantoms are gone, uses nightmare on all enemies, transforming into Spectre Tenebrae. Okay. So at 50%, the three guys come out, and then we have to kill the special phantom, I guess. So I don't know how are we going to know which is the special phantom. And then here, when attacked, it increases combat readiness of all allies. All allies are granted with stable increase. What? What? <laughs> Uh-huh. No, I think we have to kill the, the, the minions. This is just too much. Let's start off with an archy, as we cannot use this as skill. Oh okay there. Transform? I don't think she has the buff except for her Third skill. Let's kill one of these guys. So we make sure before we get to the next round that Dizzy's S3 is... What? Dear me? Just make sure that Dizzy's uh, S3 is not on cooldown. So we can do her S3 ASAP and make sure they don't get turns. Oh, go back up. Why are you removing your... Why are you removing our boss? Don't hit her. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, they... It's annoying. They increase combat readiness. And they get stronger. Uh, stun? Ouch. Ouch. Was that this guy? Hmm. Go away. Okay, I think the first round is not too not too difficult. Um, just make sure you kill the, the two guys first because hitting Tenebria will increase their combat readiness. Well Well it's a good thing I brought AOE Well, it's good and bad. I brought AOE uh, damage dealers 
Well, it's bad since when I hit, when I attack, especially for for Dizzy, the mob's combat readiness increases. But I think this the AOE damage will be perfect in the Phantom stage. Since I don't know if there's a mark or who is the the special phantom. Oh yeah, that, that's a stun gun. Stun. She didn't do the. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Come on, Luna. Do, deal some damage, please. Still not dead. Can we? Can we not? I think. I think. Let's just save. Or save the skills already in this part. Okay, dead. She's about to do night. How much damage? Pretty good damage from uh, from Luna. Miss my tamari. Okay. Just in case she does her special skill, we have Tamarin to remove the debuff. 17k seem, seems so weak. Luna, you are... Uh, <laughs> you're disappointing me. Me. 10k only? Well, she's quite slow. There you go. Please don't debuff me. I think the the S3 is not that strong. So let's just wait for another S3. So when she goes to 50%. Isn't that 50%? Oh, why is she doing it again? There you go. She's gonna do Nightmare. Don't die, Vildred. Okay, no crit. He's gonna live. Okay, so who do we kill here first? <laughs> uh, let's kill... Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that damage. No damage at all. Uh, let's kill Mercedes? Aether. Aether it is. Death break? Okay. Here we... We try to debuff them and push them back. Can can Tenebri attack? Or is she just so slow? Okay. <laughs> mm, 
That sucks actually if she's able to attack. Okay, Ras is going to attack the next turn. Okay, nothing much. Mm, let's go kill Aether. Okay, good damage. Yay, Mercedes is done. She didn't get a turn. Okay, let's kill Mercedes next. I think eight. Ow! Ow! No, not really. <laughs> I think Aether is dangerous because he can heal. That's why I targeted him first. Let's go tr transform. We want to get as much turn as pa possible. Because their stats increase. Push them back up. Okay, good. I think I need more souls. No, she didn't. She was not pushed back. Okay. Stun? No stun? Oh. Okay, so they're going to do their skills next turn. Pretty scary. Oh, my souls are gone! No! Ooh. Oh, fudge. I thought I was using my souls. I forgot that they were getting my souls. As they kill you, they get your souls. Are you kidding me? Listen to me, okay? <laughs> okay. Dead Mercedes. Wow. You. Oh! So I killed the special phantom. Don't debuff me, please. I just did Tamarin skill. Ow! Okay, so she's Spectre Tenebra now. So what are her skills? If the caster is debuffed when attacked, decrease damage taken, increases combat readiness every time being attacked. So we don't debuff her? Is that it? Grand stackable increase attack speed critical hit chance at the end of the caster's when debuffed at the end of the caster or enemy's turn recover. So we don't debuff her? What? And then how come Dizzy is an MVP here? I mean, she's the most used. Attacks. Dark Explosion. Attacks to enemies. We make them unhealable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Less than 50%. Decreasing Comet Readiness and Speed. Increases Skill Cooldown by 1 turn. Okay, so just make sure she's not buffed. Attacks with a Nightmare Crystal. Uh -huh. Decreasing Comet Readiness and so... What? With Stun. 
when the enemy's health falls below 50%, decreases remaining health of all enemies except for the target. She sounds dangerous. <laughs> okay. Let's just hope we live through here. So we make sure she doesn't have any buffs, right? Which is quite slow. What? <laughs> She's back down here. I thought she was low. So I cannot death break her. Wait. Okay. Okay, so I cannot have any debuffs also, right? What? <laughs> oh my god, really? Don't decrease my speed! So I cannot be debuffed, or else she gets health. Are you kidding me? Let's tr <laughs> let's try this. <laughs> I think this is going to be a long battle. Okay, we're not we're not attacking her. Okay, we've removed the uh, we've removed our debuffs. Can we attack her? Oh, she gets increased combat readiness. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Debuffing her was a bad idea. Okay. The damage not too strong. Okay. But we cannot debuff her. Sheet. <laughs> I did not think that this would be that difficult, huh? Oh, and we're debuffed again. Good lord. <laughs> And she got my souls. No. Oh, how will I kill this guy? <laughs> See, she recovers. So we're not supposed to have any debuffs, that's why Angelica is an MVP here. I can't even bring her health down. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Let's take it step by step. Come on. Move her back up. You can't debuff her. And this is dead. Well, this is. This is difficult. 
Is that why they're using cures? And we're debuffed again. Watch her health go back up. Hmm. Am I still hoping here? <laughs> How much health does she recover? Don't debuff! No! Okay, that's quite some damage. Can I transform? I think we can use the same team, but instead of Dizzy, we use Angelica. But we will have a longer time in the first phase. Don't stun me. Uh, we're going to be 50%. Okay. Don't debuff. Whew. Let's make her damage strong. Once she does the first kill. No! And we're dead. <laughs> oh, that was a fail. We have to rethink our strategy there. We just can't... We just can't... Uh, use debuffs. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hmm. These guys have debuff, debuff, this guy has debuffs. Let's do it the long and safe way. There you go. So the phantom face will be a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, I will get back to you guys. This guy is, I'm sure this guy will still be easy. But, yep, I'll just see you guys in the boss phase. And we're back, guys. Um, let's just kill the mobs and then kill Tenebria. Oh, no, no. They don't, they don't get the souls in this stage. Right. Uh. Mm hmm. Look how much see they're pushed. No, they so annoying, really. You have so much buffs, then 
Just a single strike, no more. There, and then we get debuffed. Come on. It's it's annoying. <laughs> okay. Mildred, please. Should have used Archie. Oh, they decrease combat readiness. Just kill this guys quick. And the only problem in this phase is the increased combat readiness this mobs get. See? Is there a turn again? Then you silence Wow. That's a lot of debuffs. Angelica? Hang in there. <laughs> Good thing Tamaran can transform. <laughs> okay, um, I think this part is pretty straightforward. Just kill these guys and we go to Phantom Stage. Um, I'll just see you guys when I get there. Alright, we're in the phantom stage and I'm almost dead. <laughs> okay, so I think we should still go for Aether. I don't know, is Mercedes really the special phantom? I am not so sure though. <laughs> uh, if they get a turn, they get our souls. So let's use our souls while we're at it, right? Them getting a turn will be inevitable. So Let's kill the phantoms ASAP. So we have a chance for. The... No, no, he got one. No! Damn you. <laughs> I'm still going to use one for. Nah. Let's just use one for. Death breaking Aether. Twenty thousand almost. How can you do that? Shocks don't kill. Please don't. There's no more death break. Hmm. Can Tamarin transform? Yes. Nice dual. Nice dual attack. Uh, let's transform. I'm scared of uh, of Aether's whatever his skill is. Please don't hit. Please don't heal. 
27 K so how dangerous that <laughs> okay she gets us he gets a stun on the turn he's not going to heal Left break, nice, nice. Okay, there's a dispel there. Don't do this to me. Don't heal again, please. Let's stun. Stun, stun, stun. No stun. <laughs> no stun. Why would you stun? It's only 4k. <clears throat> I kind of want them to kill Vildred so we can revive and get and get an attack up. You know, Vildred didn't get stunned there. <laughs> yeah. Won't you stun for me? Yes! <laughs> yes, we get a stun. Thank you, thank you. We got that stun. Angelica MVP, sure. <laughs> okay, we, we didn't need that. Yes. Ah, finally. Okay, these guys won't be too difficult then I think since they can't heal anymore it's just annoying that we can't even we can't even uh, use souls I'm not sure if they're getting stronger also as in literally strong ouch ouch oh shocks Fudge, I'm in trouble here. Can can Tamarin transform? Please, please, let her transform. Yes, come on. Dizzy makes everything easier in this part, but I can't use Dizzy because she's so useless in the next part. No, 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 I should have used the... Don't stun. Oh, damn it. I should have used <laughs> Angelica's S3 there. Did we kill her? Oh, so so it really is Mercedes and J very right in time because we got immunity up. Okay, time to get some souls and make sure that we are not debuff. And you don't go stunning Mercedes, okay? She's immune to stun, I guess. Yes, 
that's the way it is okay so far so good we no debuffs yet I'm scared because sh is she going to debuff us? Uh, let me just save that she might debuff okay no debuff good let's get some souls so we can uh, increase uh, their, our immunity term So far, so good. There you go. No debuffs. Good, good, good. So someone's going to get stunned. Who is it going to be? Let's just do this. really bad for Tamarin because she she's just so fast and um, the immunity might be off already by the time she attacks okay it was a good choice resistance very good yeah, and when she transforms that's two turns so Two turns of no immunity. Do we ensure that what's in the f what's what happens in fifty percent or less? Nothing much. Nothing much really. Do we transform? No, no. Let's save it. Let's save the transformation. Okay. At least he gets to attack. Okay. Uh, let's make sure Angelica gets gets her S3 up as up so next turn we can I hope we can burn it already by next turn having immunity is really good <laughs> not sure if the new the new hero Vivian is good here oh nice not sure if she's going to be good here because she's earth she might have a hard time in she might have a hard time in the, the tenebra stage but her s3 has what a very long three turn immunity so she might be good here with a greater att than attack buff Nice dual attack. Ooh, that hurts. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, shucks. That, that was scary. Luna should not die because she's the one dealing the most damage here. 12,000. Vildred is only doing half. It's okay. At least we got revive. Okay, I think this turn she won't be able 
to attack anymore. I hope. I hope, I hope. She's going to do her. Yes. Oh. Nice, nice. And I think it's over. Is it? It's over. It's over. We finished. Floor 90. Yeah, I really like the abyss. Thanks for the sky stone and the transmit stones. Okay. You have conquered the abyss. Until then, we must watch the purified abyss. Okay. We did it. We finished abyss. Floor 90. And how much gold we get? It's a lot. Oof. Okay. So we just keep on purifying abyss every every day until until we get uh, new stages. And there. I hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two from my abyss experience there. And wait, let's take a look at the stats of our heroes. Just a quick look. I'm sure you've seen my tamarind everywhere. Uh, my Veldred is on attack. Yep. Uh, my Luna is on speed set. Speed set with some attack as well. This could have been better if 60% but yeah. I still lack some gears. And my Angelica is really tough. So she's built as a tank and fast healer. Timerin is built on speed. And there you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.